yo solo quería dar mi testimonio como me ha afectado desde que ya no pude renovar mi licencia. He tenido mi licencia por 17 años y me ayudó muchísimo para mantener a mis hijos, a mi esposa, a, to a toda mi familia. ¿no? Y desde que entonces, desde que me, ya no pude renovar mi licencia, se me ha dificultado. Se me ha dificultado mucho mi vida para poder seguir trabajando, mantener a mis hijos. Entonces yo quisiera que ustedes pasaran esta ley para poder seguir luchando, para darle la, el, la comida a mis hijos y a mi esposa, para poderlos soportar. So, good evening, everybody. Um, I have um, had a driver's license in the state of Rhode Island for 17 years um, and have been um, supporting my family and feeding my family all these years. Unfortunately, uh, now I haven't been able to renew it uh, based on current legislation, and he's asking to support to please pass Bill 2333 so that he can continue working and, and supporting his family and feeding his family. Eh, yo quiero tocar unos puntos que... No soy experto en esto, pero quiero tocar estos puntos de que cómo afecta a la comunidad de nosotros y también a la comunidad americana al no tener nosotros la licencia vigente. Porque hay, habemos muchas personas, ustedes son bien inteligentes y saben de que todas las personas para deber de ir a trabajar tienen que usar un carro. Y saben que los carros esos andan en las calles. Lo único que ustedes van a hacer es más seguridad para para ver quiénes son los que andamos en las calles manejando. Y, y esa es más seguridad para ustedes y para nosotros. So he is saying that everybody has to go to work, and this uh, will affect U.S. citizens uh, born in the United States and also those undocumented immigrants and uh, the um, immigrant community, uh, because they too have to go to work and use cars and use the roads and um, this having everybody having licenses would give greater safety and security for all en otra cosa que nosotros pudiendo ir a trabajar nosotros no tenemos necesidad de ir a pedir nada ni a child support ni a social security yo tengo 17 años acá y nunca he pedido nada lo único que les pido es que nos apoyen con esta licencia para poder seguir trabajando y darle de mantener nuestros hijos y otra cosa que cuando nosotros tenemos nuestros carros nosotros tenemos una licencia podemos conseguir dos trabajos hasta tres si es necesario nosotros no venimos aquí a pedir nada regalado venimos a trabajar para mantener a nuestra familia So um, I've been working uh, 17 years, and I ask you to support this bill so that I can continue supporting uh, the, my family. I have never asked for child support. I have uh, never asked for welfare in all these years, and having a driver's license would allow me to have two to three jobs, uh, will allow me the mobility and the transportation to to have uh, the necessary jobs to support my family. We come here to work. This is what we come here for. We are coming to work. Sin embargo, yo tengo un niño que es especial, tiene problemas de incapacidad, y me han aconsejado que vaya a Social Security, que ahí me dan renta, que me pagan comida, que me dan esto. Yo no tengo necesidad de eso. Yo tengo mis dos manos, mis dos pies para trabajar. Lo único que quiero, como les digo, es una licencia para poder seguir trabajando. So he has a child, a special needs child, and he has been counseled to go get food stamps and social security and benefits. He doesn't want that. He just wants to work. He wants the driver's license to be able to go to work and, and feed his family. Otra cosa que han pasado con muchos amigos es de que a veces van personas que tienen licencia o este, tomados, les pegan, los tienen que dejar ir porque ellos no tienen licencia. Tal vez de repente va otra persona, tal vez alguno de ustedes, por dejar ir a esa persona, los van a ir a accidentar a ustedes también. Y ya teniendo una licencia, uno puede llamar a la policía y decir, hey, me, pega, eh, me accidenté aquí, y la policía llega y puede detener a la persona. Es más, es más seguridad para todos. So he's talking about cases where there are accidents and uh, there are undocumented, there are um, drivers without licenses, 
and um, maybe they are under the influence of alcohol. Uh, because there is no uh, driver's license and no identification, they run away, they leave the scene, and the person who stays has no way of identifying them. Whereas if they had a license, there would have been a way to identify them and to have damages taken care of, or it, it, it's a question of public safety. Yo he tenido esta licencia por 17 años, y si usted la chequea, no tiene ningún récord malo porque la he cuidado. A veces, yo no sé por qué quitaron las licencias, tal vez por una o dos, tres personas que hicieron cosas malas, pagamos muchas personas, y no solo nosotros, también muchos americanos, porque nuestros hijos son americanos como ustedes. So he says he's had this license for 17 years. He has, you can check it, he has no bad records. He has kept it and, and very, and has been very careful to have the best of records. Um, he doesn't understand why now he can't renew this, uh, his license and why they, they, you have taken a step backwards. This is um, helping everybody. Also, uh, the, the U.S.-born citizens, like his children, have been born here, and it's affecting U.S.-born citizens, like his children. Yo también escuché un señor que dice ahí que se vayan, que los saquen los que no tienen documentos. Ahí van a ir americanos también. Van nuestros hijos detrás de nosotros. Nosotros también pagamos renta. A mí, yo gano 700 dólares a la semana. Me descuentan casi 300 dólares. Y de ese dinero yo no recupero nada porque no tengo un social bueno. Y ellos dicen que nosotros no pagamos nada. Ese dinero, ¿dónde está? Ese... So, um, somebody testified here to just go and leave the country for those who are undocumented. But uh, we have children who were born in this country, so this is also affecting them, removing U.S. citizens with their parents and the entire family. Um, he does not believe that's the, the right way to do things. He says um, he earns $700 every week, and $300 is taken out from his salary. And he never sees a check back from Social Security at the end, uh, at the end of the year, um, from the IRS, sorry, at the end of the year. Um, where does that money go? He doesn't know, but um, he works hard. <laughs> And, and he never gets the benefit of getting a tax return. Y siempre hago mis income taxes. He pagado mis income taxes año tras año. And he pays his de income mi, taxes every year. De mi social security year. nunca me regresan nada porque el número no existe. Mm -hmm. Pero me regresan solo por mis niños. Pero, lo que, eh, pero el otro dinero se queda para el Estado. Y eso nosotros no lo estamos reclamando. Lo único que queremos es una licencia para seguir trabajando. So um, he's not even claiming or asking for um, any tax returns. He just wants the driver's license to be able to go to work. Gracias. Thank you. Are there any questions or comments for this witness? Senator Archibald. It's a powerful, powerful testimony and compelling, and I'm sure that without putting him on the spot, if you were to ask, he he's clearly wants to establish citizenship and be on a path to establishing citizenship, which is part of the bill, right? I don't want to assume, but I'm, I'm reasonably certain that that would be right. So I'm not, I understand that. I count, I count, lawyers, us lawyers, we always think about, so I say it in a general abstract, I'm sure that, that uh, and, uh, you know, he, you, you, his testimony is so powerful because it hits the core of the bill which is to just simply give him the ability to drive to and from his job to earn a living. And taxes are being taken out. And all. So, I mean, it's about identification. You hit all the key elements of the public safety aspect of it, and I thought that was very powerful, and I appreciate his testimony. Can I, can I translate for him? Uh, fue muy poderoso su testimonio. Le agradece. Um, Usted tocó en todos los puntos importantes de, de la seguridad y la identificación y que eh, probablemente si usted tenga la oportunidad eh, en algún momento de poder conseguir la ciudadanía es algo de que él está pensando pero que eh, no lo quiere poner eh, en este momento en una situación para hacerle esa pregunta pero simplemente que le agradece que fue muy poderoso su testimonio. Dígale que muchas gracias y... Sí, es difícil para nosotros por hacernos uh, sacar una residencia en este país porque para eso tiene que tener uno un 
padre o una, un hijo que lo pida a uno y, y yo no lo tengo en este momento, pero ya mi esposa ya está haciendo su residencia y primeramente Dios, ahí nos vamos. So, he just said that it's very difficult to um, get residency and legal residency in this country. Um, it, it's been many years for him, but they're in the path, his family is in the pathway to doing so with his wife leading the effort. Thank you.